Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we'll be discussing about lightning flows. These would be the content of this video. So we'll discuss about what is flow builder, when to use lightning flows, what are the advantages of flows, uh, what are the flow elements, and what are the resources in flows, okay? So what is a flow builder? Lightning flow is a product inside Salesforce to automate complex business processes. Okay. It will provide you point and click functionality to build your logic and get desired results. Now lightning flow provides two tools. One is a process builder and other was a flow builder. Okay. So process builder is used to create processes and flow builder is used to create flows. Right. Now when to use flows. So if you want to automate a guided visual experience, uh, let's say like you want your process to be interactive and uh, your users to be part of it then you will be switching to flows okay and if you want to build more complex functionality as compared to process builder then you need to use flows okay for example uh, process builder will allow you to update related records right but say you want to update records which are not related to each other so at that time you may switch to flows Again, if your team does not have enough developers, right, uh, then flow could be alternative to writing an Apex code. So you would be definitely saving a lot of time and efforts because, uh, you know, writing and managing flow is much easier than uh, Apex code. Okay. Now, what are the advantages of flow? So uh, flow builder provides visual debugging interface, which makes troubleshooting smoother. Okay. So we'll look into this uh, whenever we are uh, showing the demo of a flow then uh, if you are delivering flow for a client team so flows are easier to maintain okay so uh, your uh, client team's admin just have to do point and click changes and you would be able to uh, make the changes okay now if your team does not have enough developers then again flow could be an alternative to write an apex code so it will save your time and efforts then uh, if you have worked with triggers, you know that you have to bulkify your triggers so to handle bulk updates, right? But flow interviews automatically bulkify the actions, okay? Uh, what are the different flow elements? So we have user interface elements, uh, we have logical elements and we have data elements, okay? And inside user interface, we can have screen elements, uh, then uh, screen elements basically like you can take inputs from users then we have action elements then we have subflow so a uh, subflow is like calling of using a flow inside an another flow okay then uh, we have logical elements inside that uh, we have assignment decision loop and pause and inside data elements we can create records update records get records and delete records we'll look into this in a while then we have resources. So these are the resources which we can use inside our flows. We have variables, formula, constants, choice, record choice set, previous choice sets. Okay. Now we'll go to uh, Salesforce or to look into flow builder. So let's search for a flow over here. We can see flows. So we'll click on flows. Here you can see the existing flows available in your org and uh, you have new flow button. So if I click on new flow, I'll be redirected to flow builder. Okay. Now, whenever we are here on the flow builder, it will ask me the type of flow I need to create. Okay. So we can create a screen flow. We can create auto launch flows. Okay. So uh, for auto launch flows, we have different, different ways. So uh, record triggered flow, platform event triggered flow, then schedule triggered flow. Right. So for now, we will just select screen flow. We'll look into these uh, later in uh, other videos. Okay. So we'll click on screen flows. We'll click on next and uh, for now we'll click on free form so that will get a brand uh, new flow builder and it is only having a start element uh, right now okay now on the left hand side of this flow builder if you look so we have two tabs uh, elements and manager okay now inside elements we have three types of elements first is interaction elements 
logic elements and data elements okay now interaction elements again we have three types screen elements action elements and subflow elements now uh, so when will you use screen element whenever you want to uh, you want your user to enter something in in the flow process okay so if i click on this screen element and drag on the right hand side so i'll be able to uh, select a pop up where i can select some options okay so we can have these many options uh, from which we can select so i can select uh, let's say text right if i click on text so i'll be able to select a text field and i can set the properties over here so this thing we will be looking uh, in the next video okay similarly we have uh, action element so if i drag action element i need to select what kind of uh, action i need to use right so i need to create a task send email whatever action i need to use right so this i can select over here then this is a subflow interaction element now subflow interaction element is like uh, if you want to uh, refer a particular flow inside this flow then you can use this type of interaction element fine then we have uh, logic elements now uh, in logic elements we have three types assignment decision and loop right now assignment is like uh, if, uh, a result of something you need to assign to particular variable then you need to use this assignment uh, element okay then decision element will be used to create branches uh, in your flow that means uh, if particular thing is happening then uh, let's say if a particular variable is true then you will go through this flow otherwise you will go to other flow right so that way and uh, loop element will be used to uh, iterate over a particular collection items okay then you have data elements now these data elements are uh, used to manipulate with uh, database of a salesforce so create record is used to you know create records of a particular objects then uh, update record to update the records then get records to fetch the uh, list of records or records uh, from the database and then delete record to delete the records okay so this is all about the elements now if you go to the second tab uh, you'll be able to see one button new resource now this uh, new resource will be used to create a resource which you will be utilizing in your flow okay now these resources can be variables uh, they can be collections of variables right they can be constant formula uh, record choice set to create a lookup field then pick list choice set to create a pick list etc right so these you can use uh, uh, to create these resources and then use these resources inside your flows okay and uh, whenever you are creating elements so that also appears over here inside uh, manager tab okay and now once uh, you have created elements how do you decide the flow of uh, execution so uh, you need to use an arrow to connect those elements okay so let's say i'll create a screen element uh, and i'll include one text field over here we'll name it as test demo for now and click on done okay so i've created this uh, screen element where user will enter some uh, text value now how do i uh, decide the flow so i have to select an arrow from here and attach it to this screen element so that means flow will be going from start screen to this screen okay so that's how you connect the elements now once you have created these flows uh, you will be able to uh, save the flow okay and uh, you can activate the flow and you can debug the flow also okay so we will be discussing about how we can debug our flow uh, in next videos okay so uh, that's it for this video from next video we will start creating flows okay uh, thank you and uh, do not forget to subscribe this channel